probably opens later. Probably opens later. Take a picture of me. Oh, that's the beach. Hi. Hi. Can I be in the video? Yeah, you have to be in front. Places that are lunch
This is where we met those people at that little uh, yeah. kiosk there.
I wonder why we can go inside. You know? Che boss, baby, baby, figa. Qui c'è scritto chi? E di chi? Harbor seal there. Good catch there. Good catch. Did you see it, everyone? Yeah. The casino building built in 1929. It's uh, an actual casino, but it has no gambling. It's a time when casinos are simply venues for special events. You would not go to a casino to gamble. You'd go there for a special event. It wasn't until the 1950s. Right now, we're going to a job, just like the rest of California. 
just by sitting on this island and water the plants. The plants will absorb moisture from the marine layer, pull it into the root system, and store the moisture uh, to survive the droughts. A self-watering island up. Of course, that doesn't make up, um, you know, it's like a supplement and it keeps it going. And once the rains really get it going out here, this place turns absolutely green everywhere. It's really quite the, the sight to be Now, Catalina Island has been owned by many different uh, individuals over a very long period of time. This 1770 was the very first owner of the island, uh, who got a hold of the island. His name was Thomas Robinson. He was looking for silver and gold. He didn't find it and sold it. Um, sold a couple times until it got into the hands of George Chateau in the 1870s. And in the 1870s, George Chateau was the very first person who thought, you know what, let's turn Avalon. Well, it wasn't called Avalon back then. Let's turn this area into a destination vacation area. And he built a, a uh, hotel and the first residence, and then he went to uh, So he sold the island to the Bandit family. Bandit, California is named after him. They bought it for $1.5 million in the founded this company that I work for, for tourism and activities, and they started going out here and doing everything that we're starting to do, except not the modern version, the old school version. So instead of a Hummer, you were in a wagon, pulled by horses. <laughs> Much longer trip. Much longer trip, that's right. It's off to the right-hand side, you can see the Twin Peaks of Saddleback, Orange County, California. You doing okay with the heights? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay, so great job. If you do get scared, just close your eyes. That's what I do when I'm scared. <laughs> and don't worry, I've been doing this ever since the judge cleared me to drive again. If you're looking to do the zip line, I'm oh, sorry, if you're looking to do uh, the Ridge Top Eco Tour or the Bison Expedition Tour, it's so much worse. <laughs> you get up to 1,600 feet, 1,600 feet, and it's a pretty incredible drop off at certain points. So. And the road is really quite incredible. It's not on a paved road like this. It's on a, a dirt road in a lot of different areas that are wide and In fact, I'm going to give you a, a little teaser. We're not on the quick edge, so it should be fine, but I'm going to give you a little teaser on what the road is like out in the hills. Which, which is one of the main reasons why golf carts aren't allowed to leave the city of Avalon. So when you go out into the hills, a lot of the roads feel like this. There it is. You're doing great, by the way. You're proud of you. And we're coming up to this overlook here. And you'll have one of the best views of the coast of the north towards the city of Avalon. The antenna followed the slope down to the right to the tree line. That was the very first thrill ride in the state of California. There's a zigzagging road. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. They took an open top stagecoach wagon up that hill. It took them two hours. They'd enjoy the view at 1,500 feet. And then they'd come down that hill. 
two hours up in a stagecoach wagon pulled by horses. 15 minutes down. 11 minutes was the record. That means they were going 35 miles an hour. We have not exceeded 15. <laughs> Very different. How many deaths during that? Zero. Zero deaths. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Okay, that's sitting by itself. Yeah. Okay, that is the Chimes Tower. That's the Chimes Tower. It was uh, built in 1925 at the hest of Ada Rickley. She loved the island. And, uh, that was uh, her love, love letter to the city. You can see Hamilton Cove, very nice condos there. Off to the right, those are mostly vacation rentals. Anyone staying there? You get a golf cart when you stay there. Very nice. Very haunted, though. Very haunted. All right. Thumbs up for seatbelts. We got our belts. How do they get them to the island? No, no. So they're on the boat. Uh huh. Oh, uh, there's like uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people bring dinghies, and there's a dinghy dock. Dinghies are like those little zodiac uh, signal motor kind of dinghies. <laughs> so they, uh, so they all the very first major league baseball team. In the state of California, they had a uh, farm league team called the California Angels, and there was a freaking stadium in LA County. On my left hand side, up the, up the hill there, that's where Mount Ada is located, and it has a great view towards the mainland and up the canyon towards what used to be the baseball diamond. Now, here's a really interesting thing about the city of Avalon. It is categorized as a West Coast city. It's a coastal California city, right? So it's a West Coast city. But it's on the East Coast of Catalina Island. So we are cataloged as both a East Coast and a West Coast city. And the Wrigley's put their home right here because in the morning, as they got onto the eastern facing balcony, they could see a sunrise on the Pacific Ocean. Up in LA County, Pacific. Beautiful view on the road right This is kind of a 
it's a hiking culture thing. Hikers like this island. They come out, they put rocks on top of rocks, taking photos next to them, and kind of posting it online, saying, hey, oh, we're connected to each other. So it's like a really cool community thing for hikers. You might say it kind of rocks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Over here on my right, we have two giant deer. Thank you. I can read the health of you. They're omnivores. Obviously, these are omnivores that are carnivorous and uh, you know, they eat everything. But, uh, all the plant life, all the uh, bug life, all the small nature, anything that gets in the Not the bison. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a little pet cemetery here. Those foxes were brought over by the Gabrielino Tongva. Gabrielinos uh, were the natives that lived along the coast of California, and they had uh, built large canoes. One of these canoes that were 14 feet long, four foot wide, and one of the And they paddled across the channel to the islands. They brought the foxes here to see the canoes. And they were able to get the foxes remained behind, and over time they got smaller and smaller and smaller until they are the island one. Springs likes to 
argue the point that they were the first golf course. Because when people started golfing out here, it was three holes, <laughs> as opposed to a hole 18, and like a full 18. So we only have a nine hole course today. We gotta do it twice. And uh, we're going up to the Bird Park turnaround, which used to be an old aviary. And uh, Hollywood used to come over and film the sounds of the exotic birds in the early films right here on Canada Island. So they didn't move the birds away, um, and it essentially was caused by, the island became a military base during World War II, and so they moved these birds over the mainland, and during that period of time, there was still the city of Avalon and all the locals that lived here, but they couldn't leave <laughs> the first lockdown. Anyway, they, they used to have blind at curtains, it was almost like we were in Europe, uh, because they had blind uh, lockdown curtains, they had victory gardens. And during World War II, the island was leased to the United States Armed Forces for a uh, for that period of time. Uh, William Wrigley Jr. was no longer uh, with his family in the past in here. His son took over operations and at the negotiation table because this Channel Island, Catalina, is the only Channel Island that's a private property. The other Channel Islands were quickly converted into military bases in World War II. This island, they had to have the negotiation first.
tomes predate modern day building code and are very, very small. Over on your right hand side, the building goes down three stories. Catalina Island Rock, gathered from different parts of the island. That sandstone, the beautiful home. Around the boonies here, you can see buildings large, about three or four stories. City over there, that's the Yeah. Very good. Good eye. Good eye. 